Hey everybody, this is Sean Farquhar and welcome to my vlog for November 11th, uh, 2009. Uh, today is Remembrance Day, uh, basically all over North America. I think they call it Veterans Day in the United States, and here in Canada we call it Remembrance Day. A day to remember our veterans, people who have given their ultimate sacrifice uh, for our freedom. Uh, my dad was a veteran, uh, 27 years in the Canadian military, and uh, um, today's a special day. Uh, today I spent my day flying from uh, Beijing, China home. Uh, but let's back up. Uh, the last week I've been in uh, China. Um, it, it all started kind of weird. Uh, for the first time I was so excited I packed early. I was ready to go. I was ready hours before I was supposed to go, only to realize I'd missed my flight by a whole day. Yep, I misread my plane ticket. I travel, well, if you watch my vlog, you know, I travel a lot. This is the first time in my life I've ever uh, misread or misunderstood a ticket. I, I don't know what was going through my head, but uh, I was a whole day late, had to book a new ticket, couldn't book a ticket to Shanghai, had to book a new plane ticket to fly to Beijing, then had to find uh, a flight in Beijing that flew me to Shanghai, and then arranged for transportation from Shanghai uh, to get to uh, Circus World for the festival. I was there for the 6th Annual International uh, Magic Festival for Shanghai. It's part of, the I believe, the 11th Annual Cultural Magic Festival uh, in Shanghai, uh, which is the second largest city in China. And it is massive. Uh, what an amazing city. Uh, it's, uh, it's the Paris or the New York of the rest of the world. Uh, it's a really exciting place. Uh, the festival uh, was four days long and features some of the most brilliant entertainers from around the world. Uh, lots of uh, uh, people, if I were to sit and list them, it would probably take me forever. Uh, this is the program, uh, really professionally done. Uh, silk finishes on it. Uh, there were lectures by uh, myself. Adele Salwak, Mark Oberon, and Juliana Chen. Uh, this is the pictures of the competitors. Uh, there were 31 competitors in close-up and another 15 in uh, close-up. Uh, there was also a big close-up gala. The close-up gala had uh, Raymond Long uh, from Macau, Hayashi, who's a Canadian uh, currently living in uh, Germany. It had a guy by the name of Zhu Liang from China, who is very well known in, uh, he's actually more of a stage performer, but he acted as the MC and did lots of uh, parlor pieces in between each one of the acts. Really well liked by the audiences. There was uh, Mark Oberon and myself. Um, and I was very fortunate to be able to close the shows. And uh, I tried two new pieces I'd never done anywhere else in the world. And uh, the reaction was really solid. I was very excited by the reaction. In fact, uh, uh, a gentleman I admire greatly, uh, Dale Sawak, uh, complimented me on one of the two pieces. And I... Uh, I told him it was fairly new, if not really new for live audiences, it was brand new, and uh, gave me some nice uh, tips on it, and uh, uh, we discussed the presentational aspects of it. And I look forward to making a video of it and uh, presenting it more at some more shows. Uh, the best part about it is it looks really technical, and it's easy. Uh, the gala shows had lots of people, uh, most of the people I knew, uh, but some I didn't. Some I only knew by reputation, uh, people like Jerome Murat. If you haven't seen Jerome, I'll uh, put a link up on this uh, so that you can go check out his video uh, of his performance. Uh, a super great guy. We hung out lots. Brett Daniels, uh, the illusionist. Never had the opportunity to meet him before, but uh, we spent a couple evenings together, and I met his good friend Judy. Yeah. Um, there was uh, Alberta Giorgi and Laura from Italy uh, who uh, took a silver medal in the competition. Uh, uh, and uh, Yorgos from Germany, who took the gold medal in the competition. Uh, Simon Pereira from Germany, he also took a silver medal. Uh, they had a professional competition in which they gave one gold, two silvers, and three bronzes, uh, so that all the performers in the competition were awarded prizes and trophies. Uh, it was a really great event. Uh, I actually was the judge, one of the judges on the jury, a jury made up of uh, uh, Dai Wu Jin, uh, a very famous uh, uh, Chinese uh, magician, producer, who, uh, with Juliana Chen and Mr. Li Chen, brought uh, the International Brotherhood of Magicians to uh, China. Uh, he was on the jury. So was this uh, Zhao Li fellow I told you about who was uh, the host for the close-up. There was uh, Tanon Osaka uh, from Japan, Dale Sawak from the United States, and myself on the jury. I was really quite humbled to be on uh, such an amazing jury panel. And I was a little nervous. I asked advice from each one of them on uh, uh, their systems of uh, adjudicating... Uh, I've never been on the other side of uh, uh, the judging uh, desk, and uh, I'm proud to say uh, that uh, the decision among the judges was uh, basically unanimous, and uh, uh, that made me feel good that uh, I was actually picking in the same sort of a vein as they were. Uh, while I was there, uh, I got to meet the deputies, Deputy Minister 
of uh, cultural affairs, television, and radio, uh, and uh, first-ranked performers. In other words, a real big guy. And uh, uh, we did some magic. I didn't realize that he wasn't a magician, so I did a whole bunch of magic for him and uh, basically blew him away. And now we're in discussions about doing some more television shows in, uh, in China with CCTV. Uh, I also uh, finally got my copy of, uh, well, I got a number of copies of uh, their magic magazine. This is their uh, most popular magazine in China. And uh, I'm the cover boy, which is pretty cool, of their current issue. Uh, so I spent a lot of time autographing those while I was there, uh, which was pretty exciting. I also got to pick up some decks of cards um, recently. Uh, many of you know, but some of you don't. Uh, I like to collect playing cards. Uh, not uh, open ones, but brand new decks of cards. Uh, someday I'll make a big display stand so that everybody will be able to see them. I got a deck of cards from Spade and Archer, which are autographed by uh, Harry Anderson. Eric the Camp was nice enough to give me a deck of uh, his exclusive cards. Uh, Lee Asher gave me his new Fournier cards. You can check them out at leeasher.com. Uh, these are the uh, new playing cards. Uh, Max Kraus gave me a set of his cards. Uh, wickedly cool. Uh, Vladimir, uh, while I was in Italy, uh, gave me a set of his. They're printed also by the United States Playing Card Company. Good quality cards. This is Dan Sperry's new one, Crimson. I picked these up, Dan, when I was in... Uh, in Shanghai at the Magic Convention, uh, everybody was raving over them. And then uh, this is uh, Jay Lee. Uh, these are lantern back cards, kind of a cool design. And what's neat is that they are a marked gaffed card, uh, enabling you to tell what every card is, the order of the cards, and everything. Very much like a the land deck, uh, but uh, done for Chinese people. Uh, very cool. And I picked up a whole bunch of uh, these. These are uh, uh, win cards, uh, brand new, sealed in the box, never opened from the casino. They had cases of them sitting there. Uh, that uh, rumor of them being rare, <laughs> not so true. Uh, pretty easy to obtain. Uh, these ones are stamped October 4th, uh, 2005 for play from uh, uh, 1456 when they were printed. Uh, never been opened. Uh, not, they're, they're not drilled or anything. They're just a brand new deck, uh, which is kind of neat. Um, life's been pretty busy, pretty hectic. Uh, I've got uh, a couple more things on my plate. Next thing is off to Colorado. Uh, to the Theater of Dreams with uh, Joe and Carol Given, Joe Massey and Carol Given. Uh, I did that backwards. Joe Given and Carol Massey. Uh, did I mention that it's about... Um, what time would it be there? I think it's about 3.30 uh, in the morning in China right now. And uh, I'm, I'm about as lagged as you can possibly get. Um, I want to add some uh, value to the vlogs, not just me rattling about where I've been. So I thought I would uh, start sharing some ideas with you. Uh, first idea isn't mine. First idea is, belongs to somebody else, and that's why you should uh, uh, go out and spend a couple bucks and buy these lecture notes. They're called uh, How to Become a World Famous Magician uh, by Rudy Kobe. Uh, you can find Rudy Kobe at rudykobe.com, I'm sure. Uh, his uh, lecture notes, How to Become a World Famous Magician, or Just Look Like One, uh, is brilliant. I picked this up uh, a long time ago, uh, about a week after he published them the very first time. And I can tell you that the... Uh, Second chapter, which is called uh, Three Minutes, uh, is remarkable. Uh, the entire volume is brilliant, but uh, just the three minutes is well worth it. Uh, Rudy Kobe is a genius in magic, and uh, although I've uh, um, not uh, really gotten to know him, I knew him before he was famous, and he probably won't remember it, but uh, I met him at the Florida State Magic Convention. He and I and another guy who weren't really well known just kind of hung out together, and uh, Rudy told us all about his act. The other guy, Mac, was really kind of quiet and subtle. And that night, uh, uh, Mac did his show and came out and went, Howdy, I'm Mac King. And he went on to bigger and greater things, as you know. And Rudy went on to bigger and greater things. And I'm uh, uh, really impressed that I had the opportunity at the Florida State Magic Convention back in like 1980, probably five or six. Uh, I had the opportunity to, to, to hang with them uh, just as friends. And uh, uh, no egos, just uh, fun people. And they're still that way. Uh, so take the time, uh, uh, look for this, uh, well worth buying. Uh, I leave it by the nightstand in our guest bedroom, and uh, pretty much uh, every morning when a magician comes to stay at my home, uh, they remark on how they thumbed through the book and uh, dug into it, thinking they just read one or two pages and read the entire volume and then asked where they can purchase their own copies. Uh, so that's my first piece of advice. Over the course of the next few vlogs, I'll uh, try to give you some tips that I think will help uh, you in futuring your careers. Uh, or at least put you on a path that I think you should be headed on. Uh, but, of course, it's just my opinion. And my daddy always said, opinions like butts. Everybody's got one. Some are bigger than others. And most of them stink. You guys keep busy, keep well, and most of all, be happy. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.